frugality. This video today is on consumerism versus frugality. What do I think is best? Do I think consuming things and having those dopamine hits and enjoying your life is good? Or do I think frugality is the answer to this world? Stay tuned and you'll find out my views on consumerism versus frugality. This is a dilemma that I've been going through in my head. I've really been thinking about this quite a lot because we live in a world of consumerism. And this to me has been brought on by adverts, especially over the last 200 years. 200 years in the human evolution is nothing. It's just a tiny little smidge of the human evolution, 200 years. And when I think about frugality, I think about my own journey on frugality. My own journey started on frugality. I remember exactly where I was. I was walking, just going on a walk, listening to an audiobook, and the audiobook itself told me that wanting everything is difficult. You will never ever be able to own everything. You want everything, you will never own it all. It is too much, it's too much of a pressure to own everything. But wanting nothing is extremely easy. So when I heard this, I found it extremely relieving I remember the feeling of my shoulders just dropping and a feeling of peace come over my body when I realized that wanting nothing is much easier than wanting everything. And that was really nice for me, that. That was really nice for me. Emotionally, I was aware that I felt this kind of relief. So from then on, I made a point of not really wanting anything. I didn't really want to buy things. And every time an advert came on and made me think that I wanted something, I would instantly know that it's the advert's job to try and get me to want that thing and try and get me to buy that particular thing. It was only a few, it was a few years later when I made the connection between frugality and consumerism and where it, what it looks like from an evolutionary, human evolutionary point of view. When it comes to consumerism, to me, this is not natural. We often feel pain when we buy things. It tells me it's not natural to waste our resources. I'm sure this is something linked to hunter gathering, frugality, keeping hold of your resources to survive. I'm sure this is linked to your survival brain. So when you feel that pain when you buy something, this is all evolutionary. So when it comes to consumerism, they really try and tap into that side of your brain. And this is why debt is really useful for marketing because debt, you are receiving something and receiving that dopamine hit. You are getting something, your resources are increasing. With debt, you're not giving something away. You're not initially in that moment, handing money over to someone. So you remove the pain. You remove the pain of buying something when you hand money over, but you receive the resources. So debt itself is part of the advertising, the marketing, on humans, on the human evolution. However, when it comes to frugality and the relief I felt when I realized that wanting nothing was far easier than wanting everything, the relief I felt was amazing. And I believe that was evolutionary as well because we are hunter gatherers. Our human brain is a survival brain. Its job is to survive. So we do need to ration things. And this is stimulating for our brains. When we ration things, when we frugal, when we save, when we invest, when our resources grow. Frugality is a true human evolutionary trait for our survival. And it works. I know we are not hunter gatherers anymore. I know we live in a society where we have, where the world has changed. However, when it really comes down to it, it's all down to brain chemistry and how your brain chemistry works, how you stimulate your brain chemistry. And when you look at consumerism, this is a small burst of brain chemistry, small burst of dopamine in your brain. But when it comes to frugality, this is a fundamental, stable foundation dopamine hit. Brain chemistry, positive brain chemistry. If we really think about it, it's all about brain chemistry. So I do believe that over the last 200 years, big companies, big corporations have been trying to change us into a consumeristic world. And I'm sure you all know this. It's all right there between the adverts on any TV show that you watch. They all want us to drain our resources. When it comes to consumerism, big businesses, big corporations, 
banks, governments, all want to drain us of all our resources. And our human brain is not meant to release our resources. We are hunter gatherers. We are meant to hold on to it. We are meant to be frugal. We're meant to ration. And our human brain is happy when we do this. But over the last 200 years, big business, big corporation want us to change our outlook, want to change our fundamental evolution, the thing that keeps us alive, the thing that makes us homo sapiens, the thing that makes us the only living species of human still left on this planet. Big business, big government want to change all of that. And that's worrying to an extent you don't know. You don't know how long the manipulation on the human brain can take before humanity itself is in, in, is in danger. And I'm going really, really deep here when I'm talking about consumerism versus frugality. And I think we all need to be in touch with our frugality. And I think we all need to understand that it is an evolutionary human trait that kept us alive, that keeps the human species, the homo sapien species on this planet living and prospering. 200 years, big wigs, fat cats are trying to deplete all our resources. Can you imagine if 10, 20,000 years ago, you've stockpiled all your food, you've created a good shelter, and you've got everything ready for a long winter that's about to come. And then someone came along and said, give me all those resources and I'll look after you. Would you really trust them back then? Would you really trust them? But that's the world we live in. They clearly do not have our best interest at heart. They just want to make a lot of money and fair play to them. They are humans as well. Big wigs, big companies, governments, organizations. They are humans as well. And they are hunter gatherers as well. And they are trying to get resources as well. The same as us. So I do not. So I'm not going to be hypocritical and say that they are in the wrong. I'm just going to make you aware because, because they are following the evolutionary trait as well. These big businesses, big corporations, governments are just extremely good at stockpiling all those resources. And their job is to keep depleting and taking your resource. So I can't be hypocritical and say, you need to be frugal and I hate them because they're trying to stockpile their resources as well. I'm not being hypocritical. I'm just making you aware that governments, big businesses, big corporations, they want to deplete your resources. I'm just making you aware of the rules of the game, fundamental wiring of our human brain and evolution. But they're doing it too. And they're just really good at it. And I'm just making you aware that these big businesses, big corporations are taking your resource. So just be wary of that. Live a frugal life. Hold on to your resources. Your human brain will thank you for it. And that's what really matters when it comes to the end of your life. It's all about brain chemistry and what has stimulated your brain chemistry. So live a frugal life. 